our goal of phonographic memory is to bridge cultures and generations, you know, heavy collectors and, and your casual fan, and, and really examine and celebrate uh, the human experience through vinyl records. The idea for the program came about a couple years ago, um, and it kind of came in stages actually. Um, I met this woman at a record store who was collecting records uh, that her deceased friend had designed. And that, that just kind of had me thinking about, um, you know, we all kind of do this for a different reason. We all look for records for a different reason, whether you're a DJ or a producer, someone who just likes music, someone just a, purely just a collector. Um, we all do this for, for different reasons. So when we're in these record stores, you know, we see these people, but we don't really communicate with them at all. And you maybe get a glimpse of their personality or, a, you know, an idea of who they are by, by what they get. But, um, you know, everybody in there has a story and uh, has something that they, that they love and, and cherish about music. Phonographic Memory is a platform that brings people together to share the stories and records that shaped us. What I love about Phonographic Memory is that it's a storytelling event where everyone is welcome to share their story. And it's not like one of those storytelling events where someone's super well rehearsed or they're like a professional storyteller. No, it's everyday folks from the community just bringing an item that's really important to them. In my travels and going through record stores, you know, around the world, I've, I've noticed that it's you know, this, this closeness, this affinity with vinyl, it's, it's not just a state thing. I mean, it's, it's, it's a global phenomenon. People around the world have a, a unique relationship with records um, that really is, is, can be only be explained through, through their words and their experiences and, and stories. With a project like Phonographic Memory, when, when you're pairing stories with music, people are able to connect in a way that, I don't know, it's magical. I can't quite describe how it's magical, but there are very few places I see that connection happen in the way that when stories and music come together. Everyone's got a story about a song. Like, we're humans. We are all experiencing music and culture together, but separately, and so, you know, I just want to hear more people sharing their stories. The fact that it gets to happen in a small community here in the Bay Area, but it's such a you know universal idea, I could just see it growing and growing, and that would be really awesome. I want to hear more stories. I want to hear stories from all over the world. I think one of the coolest things about the event is that for one hour, people just listen. You know, they put their phones down, there's no distractions, you're just listening to the person talking, telling their story, and then you listen to the song. Um, you know, I think so rarely do people really just sit and, and listen. 